Hey guys, what is up and welcome to this warm up video. In this video guys, I'm going to take you guys through a very, very simple, basic body weight exercise session that can be perfect as a warm up before you head out on a run or training session, okay? We've got six exercises or movements in total. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna give some modifications as well if you find something too difficult or maybe you're just not ready for that right now. That's absolutely fine, okay? So we're gonna start off, guys, super easy with some really easy leg swings. So maybe use a wall or use a chair or a wall outside. And we're just gonna to start to swing those legs nice and easy. We're not forcing anything, we're not trying to kick the ceiling, we're just letting our leg flow to the, its range of mo movement. We can gradually feel it increasing a little bit. Um, sometimes I don't put a number of reps on this, I just like to let the leg flow until it feels like it's moving freely. Somewhere usually around the 20 rep mark is where I get that kind of free feeling, okay? We're gonna do both legs, nice and controlled. Again, we're not forcing this, folks. Nice and easy. Good job. Just increasing that range of movement, working through nice controlled movement sequence, okay? The next exercise we wanna add in here, folks, we're gonna do a reverse lunge and a knee drive. If you find the reverse lunge and knee drive together a little bit too difficult, you can just do the reverse lunge, okay? So here's what we're a reverse lunge and knee drive looks like. We're gonna come into that reverse lunge position. We're gonna follow through with the knee drive, squeezing the standing glute and making sure we're bringing that knee up to about a 90 degree angle. We're gonna do five reps each side. Three, nice work. Four, and five. For the next leg, I'm just gonna switch sides. I'm gonna face you guys. Okay, so we're gonna pop guys back. Knee drive. Two. Three. Four. Five. Great job. As mentioned, if you find that knee drive a bit too difficult, if you're not used to it, just do the reverse lunge. You'll still be good. Next we're gonna add in guys is an RDL. So again, we're gonna come into that standing position, small little bend in that knee. We're looking for a hinge through the hips here, folks, okay? So again, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna really activate that glute and that hamstring. What we wanna do here, guys, is we just wanna extend ourselves back and following through. I like to use the wall for balance. If you're really off balance here, you can actually place your hand on the wall and just help yourself through that movement if you need to. What we don't want to do here, folks, is we don't want to slouch, okay? We want to keep our shoulders pinned back. We want to keep our abs tucked in. And we're looking to almost kind of get into a T-like position. So we're gonna go for five reps each side, nice and easy. Again, I sometimes like to use the wall as a guide. Remember, we're just warming up for a run. So let's get it going. We're gonna start off with that right leg. Good. Nice and controlled. One thing to become aware of here, folks, is I'm on my right leg. I really wanna feel, just become aware of my right foot. Where of my toes, where of my arch, and just aware of the general waist distribution throughout the foot, okay? Sometimes we tend to preload one side a little bit more than the other. So let's switch sides, good stuff. Nice and easy. Again, we wanna to try to keep those hips square to the floor. We don't wanna see any external rotation. Good. Three, keep those abs tucked in. Four. And five. Nice work guys, great job. Next exercise again, a pretty simple one. Uh, we're gonna warm up those calves. So we're just gonna come into some calf pulses or calf raises again, depending on uh, what terminology that you use. So we're coming into a standing position. Again, you may use the wall if you wish. 
And we're just going to rock up onto those toes. Again, I want you guys just to feel the weight move from the front to the back of the foot, to the front of the foot, to the back of the foot, to the front of the foot. Okay, so again, when we get up, just a one second hold or so. Again, we're just going to shoot for 10 repetitions here. So you're following along nice and easy. Good stuff. Nice job. I'm just going to do one more. Get those calves warmed up. Nice. Good job, guys. Good stuff. Next one's pretty simple. Okay, we're going to stay standing in place. Okay, again, this is a pretty basic warm up that you can do pre run. We're going to hug that knee to the chest. So, right arm onto that right knee. Left hand kind of cups the shin or ankle. Okay, I like to go to the shin. You're just going to hug that into your chest and back down. We're just going to switch. We're going for 10 reps in total. So, again, around five each side. Three. Good job. Standing up tall. Four. That's five. Good. Six. Seven. Nice work. Eight. Nice work. Well done. Nine. And ten. I always like just to shake the legs out, guys, okay? We've got one more short exercise to go, and then we're ready to run. If you're finding this video helpful, again, you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment. I'd really appreciate it. Last one, guys. We're going to come into a push-up position, and again, we're just going to come into what I just call the push-up hip opener. So, down we go. It's going to be left hand underneath the left shoulder, right hand underneath the right shoulder. We're going to bring that left foot up towards that left hand. We're just going to hold it here for a second, okay? We're just going to feel that stretch. You'll see my leg at the back here is extended upwards. It's not down. It's extended upwards. Okay, and just what I want to do here then, guys, I just want to maybe hold my foot and just kind of rotate and move that knee in and out. Just get that hip opened up a little bit, make it aware that we're about to head out for a run. Okay, sometimes guys, when you jump up into the stretch or this movement, it can feel a bit uncomfortable. So I'd like to leave it maybe five or six seconds and just leave that stretch reflex wear off. And we're gonna do the same again on that side. I'm gonna go for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna repeat this guys once more with a little bit of an add-on if you wish. So again, left foot, left hand, keeping that foot flat on the floor. We're gonna release the inside hand and we're just going to add in five rotations. Two, three, four, and five. Nice work, folks. Good job. So this is also known, guys, as the world's greatest stretch. One, two. Again, it's easy. Three, you're not forcing anything. Four. And five. Nice work, guys. Great job. So, there you have it. Very easy, very quick follow along warm up that you can do pre run to get yourself open, to get yourself feeling well, to get yourself moving optimally. If you enjoyed this, if you found this helpful, if you're watching it before your runs and using it as a warm up, do let me know in the comments. Much appreciated. If you like this video, give it a like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you the next time.